So, hey guys, welcome to Comic Gaming. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell. Comment below, hit the like button, and maybe even share with your friends. Good job. We have cookies. And milk. Might be semen, I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Hey guys, welcome back to Comageddon. Uh, this week's episode, I'm reviewing the original vintage Masters of the Universe collection Skeletor. This is the original Skeletor from the early 80s, around uh, 83. And uh, this was the villain, the main enemy of He-Man. So let's go ahead and go over some of the... Uh, Sculpt and details of this guy and uh, see what was so awesome about these early figures. Okay, so first up, let's go ahead and go over uh, these paint and sculpt. Uh, these figures at the time were really basic. Uh, they didn't do, they had some detailing, uh, but not always, uh, you know, uh, painted. But what that was painted and sculpted was always uh, just amazing. Bright, vibrant. Um, fully just play playability. So here we go. We'll start with the top here. We have uh, Skeletor's evil face here with a nice little green, yellow, and red eyes. Pretty detailed for the time. Um, nice little evil grin here. Uh, his hood, which is non removable, is a sculpted piece. And it almost looks, if you look carefully, Actually, kind of cloth like they had some lines in here. I don't know if that was part of the mold or if that was just you know intentional, but of course, he even has the little flap in the back <laughs> for his hood. Uh, his vest, which is removable, um, has a sculpted bat on it. And it's all one solid purple. Uh, we have the crossbones to indicate that he is a bad guy. <laughs> then it kind of goes with the whole, you know, Skeletor feel there. And of course we have his little belt. This is all just kind of the same, same uh, color purple and the belt is removable. He has his furry loincloth. Timber! <laughs> we have his furry loincloth. I'm going to show you Skeletor's butt. He's going to twerk. There we go. And uh, now there were multiple versions of this figure. Uh, the original had a clear back. And then the front was uh, painted. It was supposed to be like, uh, uh, I guess, shin guards originally. And later on, they did go ahead and they just painted the whole foot, uh, which is a claw foot. So, all right, let's go ahead and go over some articulation on this guy. Uh, basic articulation, his head moves from left to right, uh, arms move up and down, and then the legs, which were on a rubber band, pretty much, can move both front and forward. And these guys also had an awesome action feature, which I'll show you now. You basically just turn them to the side and, you know, He's supposed to swing <laughs> back and forth. It is an old figure. Uh, if you go back and look at the He-Man review, you can see what they're supposed to do. Um, the He-Man one works really good. The Skeletor being an old figure. Spring, not so great. <laughs> but he still looks pretty good. Skeletor came with a few accessories. Uh, the first accessory I'll talk about is his Havoc Staff. Now, you notice the Havoc Staff is kind of warped. That's how they always came in the package. Uh, they were kind of always a pain to straighten out, but it still didn't look too bad and kind of matched his warped personality. And his Havoc Staff could easily fit in his right hand. Another accessory Skeletor came with is his Power Sword. The Power Sword, which is a solid purple, 
um, is unique in the fact that it's not complete, just like He-Man's. The reason being is they were always meant to be connected, to form one power sword. Reason being is once both halves of the power sword were connected, you were able to put it in the front door of Castle Grayskull to open it. The cool thing about Skeletor, another thing about the cool thing about Skeletor, the same with He-Man, is you could store his power sword in his vest in the back. Just like so. So there you are. The original. Skeletor from the Masters of the Universe collection. I gotta say, Skeletor is pretty cool. Both he and He-Man have four different variants for their figures. Uh, there was a battle armor. Uh, there was, uh, for Skeletor, there was a dragon claw. Uh, there was a dragon mist. And then there was the, uh, lace, the laser light Skeletor, which is... Him and He-Man's laser light figures were probably the most, some of the more most expensive figures out there right now, uh, because they were never re released in America. So I'm lucky enough to have at least three out of the four versions of each He-Man and Skeletor. Um, this is one of my favorite figures growing up, along with uh, He-Man. It was just really cool. They were always pretty easy to find. Uh, however, today, if you're looking for a completed Skeletor, uh, with his Havoc staff, the loincloth is probably the hardest piece to find on the figure. Um, and his, so and his uh, sword, you're probably looking at close to anywhere from $50 on up in the 100 regions. So, pretty pricey now. Um, my suggestion is buy them in pieces. Buy the figure in bulk. Buy the um, vests and the, uh, the belt and the weapons you might be able to save a little bit of money that way. So, but if you are looking for, you know, out of package original uh, accessories that came with, you're looking probably in the hundreds of dollar range. So, but there you go. Skeletor, for everybody. If you're looking to add them to your collection, I highly go ahead and suggest to do that. Happy hunting. And of course, if you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like, comment below, and share with your friends. <laughs> I hate you.